luck for the humerus. Okay, upper arm, all the muscles wrapping around the humerus, right? So there are three major muscles on the upper arm that you guys need to know, and from this angle here, we're basically in anatomical position, so you can see the, the palm and the thumb down there. So if we follow the thumb back up, we can find one of the major fat-bellied muscles here, which is our biceps brachii. Now the biceps brachii along the brachial region, right? right. And bi is going to stand for two. two. So at the top of our humerus, we have two heads that are going to attach at two places. Hey, Marsha. Hey, what? Two heads are better than one. <laughs> oh. oh, don't we wish we could all use two heads at the same time? You guys bet you wish you did on the lab exams, right? Now, our biceps are going to have two origins up here, right, on the scapula. So if we look at the scapula, bring that out here, we're going to originate at the supraglenoid tubercle. Remember, that was at the top of the glenoid cavity. And the coracoid process of the scapula. So they are going to have two heads ready, right, right. Now as we move down, we can see the insertion point of the biceps is going to be right at the elbow. Now this is going to insert on the radius, so if you think about when you move your arm, it's going to attach at the radial tuberosity of the radius, and when you flex your biceps, you're going to be um, flexing the forearm, right? You're going to pull your thumb closer to your nose, and it will also help us to supinate the forearm and rotate that. So if we look underneath kind of sort of the bicep there's one little muscle that sits there called the brachialis. Um, this muscle we don't have to worry about origins and insertions but you can see it right underneath the biceps. And as we continue rotating our arm to the posterior side we can see the triceps. So the deltoid there at the top kind of feeds into our triceps which will then hit the elbow joint. Right there again another synovial joint. Now the triceps has, I'm sorry, triceps brachii. Make sure you include brachii in your lab exam, right? <laughs> the triceps are going to originate again up at the scapula, at the infraglenoid tubercle, and on the humerus, at two spots that are kind of flat areas on the humerus the posterior surface and then the lateral surface. Um, they'll just attach right in there and feed all the way down to the elbow, which is where our insertion point is. On the olachronon <laughs> process of our ulna. So if you think about, you feel your elbow back there, the little bony part, that's gonna be the spot where your triceps will attach. The olacronon process. process. And this is going to help us to extend both the arm and the forearm. So you think about like if you've ever done those tricep kickbacks. You're uh, isolating your tricep. Okay, so I think we now get to move on to what both Karina and I feel is the most challenging part of the whole muscle area is the forearm. So we will be back in a bit with 